how you uh, really stress efficiency and becoming more efficient players. I guess that was like how frustrating it was for you or what it told you to take the last couple of years of that month. Um, I mean, I can't get frustrated, you know, you know, it's all part of the process. Um, you know, teams are guarding me different. You know, my shots aren't wide open. They're not easy looks. Um, just finding new ways to attack defenses, you know, get to my spots. Um, and then just, like you said, being efficient, you know, I take, you know, a high number of shots per game. So just trying to be efficient. That's my biggest thing. You know, I hate having those games like I've had in the past or past three games, but um, just sticking with it, you know, and just remembering that everything's part of the process. Um, I think we were able to, you know, get get in the paint, um, make make them overcommit, spray, um, move the ball. You know, re we really shared it tonight. The guys were sharing the ball and flying around, making plays for each other, and we were able to to make them pay, you know, not just from the three, but all around. Um, but it was, it was a good win for us. All right, Maddox, you can take some of your Zoom. All right, we'll start with Ira Winderman. Go ahead. Ira, you've had a bunch of games recently where you've gotten off to rough starts, didn't let it bother you and came around. Today was a one of five, and then you finished strong. When you get to those kind of starts, do you think about that at all? Do you adjust it all? Or do you sort of just stay with that game and figure it's going to come around because you are who you are? Um, first of all, I didn't have a bunch of games. It was like okay. two or three. Okay, I apologize. Um, you've had two or three games like this when you've come around. <laughs> no, nah, you're good. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I'm just sticking with it. You know, like I said, staying confident. Um, you know, teams are guarding me different, like I said, but. Um, just trying to stay confident, you know, when I do start slow, you know, <coughs> 0 for 6, you know, 1 for 5, whatever it may be, just just being confident, um, knowing, you know, the next one's going to fall. And, you know, that's all I can do is stay, stay confident, stick with it. It's all part of the process. It's a long season. Um, there's going to be ups and downs through it all. So just being confident, stay, sticking with it. And then when you, when you have games like this also, obviously the rotation is completely changed. Today you're out there with Duncan. He's shooting a bunch of threes as a reserve before you've been with Max. Does that matter? Or do you guys find that you sort of have a style that works with everyone? What's it like when not only is the starting lineup changed, but honestly the reserve rotation is changing also? Yeah, um, I mean, we we got a bunch of guys that can you can plug in to the starting lineup, to the bench, wherever you put our guys, you know, they're, everyone makes – makes it easy for each other. You know, we, we we love playing with each other. We got a great locker room and, you know, guys really accept their role, knowing that their role may change, you know, from a, from night in and night out. Thanks for keeping me in line. Thanks, Tyler. It's all good. All right, up see. next week, we have uh, Christo Saltas. Go ahead. Hey, Tyler, congratulations on the win, first of all. This Thank win, you. this performance against the team with the best record in the league until tonight's game, what what it means, what it uh, what it speaks about your you guys as a team. Um, you know, just our you know grit and fight. You know, over this these last ten days, you know, this road trip was was you know hectic for us. You know, a bunch of guys got COVID at the beginning of it. Brought a bunch of ten guy ten day guys in, and we were <clears throat> able to you know stick with it, um, plug guys in, and you know we finished the the road trip three and two, I believe. So you know, it's a great road trip for us. You know, we got some guys back. Um, hopefully we can get some more guys back in the, in the future, near future, and just continue to build for the playoffs. And for you personally, to have teammates, uh, two veterans like Kyle Lowry and uh, PJ Tucker, two players with winning mindset, how, how big is the impact of those two guys to you? Uh, big, you know, they're, they're, you know, savvy veteran guys who have won championships and they know what they're doing. Um, you know, we kind of follow their lead and, you know, they take us to the promised land. Thank you very much, Tyler. Thank you. All right, Tyler, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, guys.